the idea um, to, to go for a couple because it was an old idea that we used uh, in 1998 for the spring summer 1999 menswear collection and uh, and as here uh, at the Vienna exhibition we do have like menswear and menswear together we felt that it was quite nice uh, to use this old idea and to refresh it for, for the Vienna fashion motion show. Uh, street casting uh, for, for Yuji Yamamoto is, is very important and very special because he felt like when he's creating, he's creating not only for one woman or for one man, he's creating for like uh, all people from everywhere, from every culture, from every shape, that can be tall, they can be short, they can be a little bit big or like quite skinny and, and it's no matter about it, it's more about uh, an attitude, um, a way to be, uh, maybe a kind of um, self-confidence even if you show it a little bit of shyness, but about an attitude. So um, for him, you know, like the Yoshi Yamamoto outfit is more a proposal. Uh, to wear, but like he's giving only 80% of the outfits because it's up to uh, the person, the people that are going to wear the clothes to, to put the 20 other person and they are the most important because it's what makes you different basically. So we went there at the Yuri Yamamoto theme night and uh, we saw that they had an open couples crossing so we went there to, just before it closed to check it out and they asked us to walk back and forth and took our picture basically and then they, they contacted us a couple of yeah. weeks later. This is well, so much fun. I mean yeah. they, they, they put like foundation even on your fingertips basically so everything has to look up and like you have five, six people doing everything for you all the time. It's like the current collection, that's mainly spring summer 2011. Uh, we pick it because uh, Manly's menswear collection was totally inspired by the Vienna textile collection. So we felt that it was very appropriate to, to show it today. For Yuji Yamamoto, there was like a, a very special meaning to, to, to be at the Vienna because London, it has been always a city that interested him a lot. He first visited it in the 70s, you know, because he was absolutely um, overwhelmed by all the punk uh, movement and especially by Vivian Westwood and, and the shops that she was having at this timing. And, uh, and London has been always very special because like all the photographers as well that we use mainly uh, for catalogue in the 80s, 90s um, was done by a British photographer and we were using street casting as well for this catalogue among few models. So that's true, like most of the time he's feeling that uh, England is an island as Japan and, uh, and you do have like this uh, common spirit of about fighting and to be isolated at the same time. So um, it's a special place for him and, uh, and when we have been invited by the VNA and, uh, and by the Wapping as well to have like a satellite galleries, he just felt that it was just perfect time because it was like uh, still be rebels, still to be active, still showing you know about his work and, uh, and his special attitude in the fashion world. The public and the audience sounds like uh, really happy about it and they are like quite surprised because like we are using a very special light for all, nearly all the Eugene Auto shows that is the HMI, that is a kind of very different lighting and uh, it's very different in the process of showing because it's taking a little while you know, to, to, to be up you know, as a full light. So it's giving a special atmosphere and I think they have been quite surprised as well about the, the clash about the music that was like, you know, very classic like with a pound and some while you were having like Tom Waits. So it was like giving a kind of um, asymmetric balance that you can find back in the Yuji Auto clothes. So people looked like enjoying it. So we hope they, they did.